Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again. Last time we had a pretty close call victory and I'm pretty proud of it. Ended up clutching it out, but this time we have Apollyon, also a character for an upcoming showcase. And another character for an upcoming showcase. Um, where is he? There he is. Tinted Apollyon, let's give him a go. This guy can be rather interesting. We have the Abyss Plus Plus mod. Um, ooh, I think I'm just going to take that because I don't think it has a unique uh, a unique fly. Some mods don't have unique flies, some mods do. Um, I think it's Ipecac and Repentance Plus that have them, and most of the other mods don't. I'm hoping that someday they'll get added, but on obviously cross-mod support isn't exactly a hard requirement, so I don't expect every modder out there to go and do that because that's just a tall order. But we're jumping in and playing some Apollyon here, but... For the question of the day, kind of related to Apollyon, and I apologize if I asked a question similar to this before, but what do you think is a, is something that is just crucially missing from the Binding of Isaac? What is something that you wish there was more of or wish was in the game that isn't? For me, it's risk-reward. I think this game does a very, very good job of risk-reward. But after playing Revita, I've been playing Revita a lot recently, it should be out in 1.0 by now. And hopefully the interview that I did with the developer is also out by now on the Inside Indie podcast channel. So go and check that out. But yeah, uh, after playing that game, that game does risk reward in possibly the best way of any roguelike I've played. And it's just got me yearning for like more risk reward. This game definitely has a good amount, obviously with devil deals and such. But goddamn, if there was more, I'd be really happy. <laughs> I think there's, like, enough in this game right now, which, you know what? This room is definitely going to hit me if I don't do this, so... I thought I had to just go for it there. But I'm going to try, 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 and do, like, a heavy abyss run here. Uh, see if I can get some really cool stuff going on. Oh, but yeah, I've, I've, had, a, I've had a decent morning today. Uh, I've, this is, like, my third Isaac recording of the day, which, honestly, I, I'm, I'm baffle, I am baffle myself. Also, what's going on with this singe item? It just seems to be flaring up on the fires themselves, and that's it. Um, but, yeah, I, I've, had, I've had a decent morning. I've recorded a bunch of Isaac. I've done a few meetings for work and stuff. Um, and, oh, are you kidding me? We're one coin off. One coin off. I would like to buy that as well. Um... Yeah, and I've, at the minute, I've been kind of dieting a little bit just to try and lose some of the COVID weight that basically everyone ended up putting on. So I've been, like, counting my calories, and I've, like, I think I've got, like, 1,600 for the day. Normally, like, an average male gets, like, 2,000 for the day, I think it is, or maybe 2,200. So it's, it's, it's definitely a lot less than normal, but I'm starting to realize, like, you, it's pretty easy to stay under that amount and have, like, a decently full, like, day of eating. Um... I, I was actually, like, kind of surprised by how much I could have. Like, for lunch, I had two tuna wraps, and th that was only, like, 400 calories. No! You bastard! I mean, it's not like flawless thing this guy does anything, but god damn it. You do your thing, Mr. Plum Plum. You do your thing. You do you, little fella. You do you. I'm gonna let you bounce around. And yeah, I gotta say, like, I've been kind of surprised by what I can and can't eat. Like, I, I was, another thing, I don't know if it's, it happened everywhere else yet, but in the UK, just recently, like, a law was passed where, like, every single, like, fast food thing has to show how many calories it, it has on it, which is great and terrible, because it means you kind of know what you can eat now, but at the same time, uh, gimme you, at the same time, now I'm so aware of how fat I am whenever I get takeaway. Like, one of the places that I get quite often, which is just delightful there's a place near me called the athenian which do greek food and oh it's amazing it's some of the best greek food i've ever tasted it's genuinely genuinely so so good but i was like cool let me just check how many calories are in that just just so i can know just so i sort of know when i can and can't have it yeah i can't really have it ever <laughs> um it uh for one, the, the, I get this thing called the Beast Box, which already sounds like it has a lot on it. And that's because it does. It's basically like a bunch of shredded chicken or pork. Um, gotta be very careful about playing these guys. Make sure I don't accidentally leave myself with too little HP. Bit surprised that he only paid out with one thing, but it's the way it goes. We've got a tears up. Pretty happy with that. 
Um, yeah, and I was like, it, it comes with like a bunch of like shredded pork or like gyro meat. Um, it comes with a few bits of halloumi, some salad, some chips, uh, some pita breads. Obviously a lot of carbs and stuff in there anyway. So it's going to be relatively high. I was like, yeah, I'm expecting like well over a thousand. I wasn't quite expecting it to be 2,100. I was like, what? That's obscene. <laughs> oh, nice. 2,100 calories. It's like, I, I can only have this if I've not eaten anything else for the entire day. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. It's it's really good, though, that they, they're showing the calories, because it means that I can actually kind of eat healthier throughout the day in order to allow myself to have a takeaway without being just a mega fatty, which is rather nice. Also, this, this plum, this plum fly is doing a lot of damage. A lot more than I was expecting it to do. I'm pretty happy with it. That's another question of the day that I'll just ask while we're, while I'm on the topic. What's your favourite takeaway? I might have already asked that before, but yeah, I, I'm definitely leaning on the Athenian as being one of my favourites. I get it, I won't say quite a lot, but I get it like once every two weeks or once every three weeks or so, and it is, it is really, really good. God damn, this plum fly is crazy. It just insta-kills anything it touches. It's beautiful. Nice one, golden key. It's absolutely beautiful. What we got here... Shrink Ray. This is a Deliverance one. This one definitely won't have uh, Synergy, so I'll just take it. I know I could get a Default Fly, but I'm not really that into a Default Fly, to be honest. Give me the Shrink Ray. I'm sorry, fella. It had to be done. Like, if we shrink all of these bad boys, then we could just walk over them all. Oh my god, these f them flies were so tiny, it was impossible to see them. You want to steal my charges, do you? Hmm? Mr. Big Boy, you think you're so cool stealing my charges? Yeah. Okay. Very fitting boss for this floor. Visually looks very, very good. I, oh my god, that was a bad hit. Oh, and that's a bad miss. Do you have anything like that that, like... White Rose. Tier Multiplier, two Soul Hearts, spawn... The fuck is this? <laughs> spawn four... This is a boss item. Why? <laughs> That's so good. Why is that a boss item? <laughs> I am not sure. I am really not sure as to why that's a boss item. God damn. Right. Um, I think I want to do this. Grab that. Put it down. Grab that. And do that. <laughs> and now we got a few more wisps in the in the basket. Yeah, that's, that white rose seems a bit good. Two so... I mean, I suppose it's not that much better. If I think about it logically, it's not that much better than, than Squeezy. But a multiplier, even a weak multiplier to me, is a lot stronger than a just flat tears up. Even if it's only a 15% multiplier, I still think that's a lot stronger. And yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know how to feel about that. All of the little ones run away from you. It's very annoying. Also, the I didn't realize like how very fleeting and brief the amount of time we get with uh, the shrunkenness is. It's very, very soft. Oh, we got one fly that looks like an enemy fly. That's really horrible. <laughs> That's so distracting. I'll definitely pop that open. Ooh, Voodoo Baby's so good. Voodoo Baby right now doesn't do much for us, but later on, it's going to be very, very good because Voodoo Baby... Basically, on when it gets hit, it triggers out on hit effects. We don't have any of those yet, but we could get some, and that could be pretty awesome. So far, though, I think our fly army is pretty good. I think our fly army is pretty good. Like I said, I'm hoping to, to do a relatively um, locust-heavy build here. I want to try and take as many locusts as we can. Um, I'm not going to risk the run for it, of course, but I want to take them wherever it sees fit, like I did with that devil deal there. Is there a nickel under here? Yeah, there's a sticky nickel. I'll, I'll bomb that. I think shops are going to be pretty valuable for us, so I'll, I'll do that. But the, the bloody plum wisp is just incredible. It does so much damage. I don't know what the sulfur wisp is doing, by the way. I will just take that. We need HP. I don't know what the sulfur wisp is doing. I, I was, for some reason, expecting it to do something brimstone related, but that's the virtue wisp, not the locust. So I, I was just completely wrong on all fronts with that. Also, the fact that it gives you spectral is so nice here. Pop in here real quick. Purity. 
Hmm. I think I'll abyss purity. Purity seems like an, uh, an interesting one to abyss. It seems to have given us like a rainbow holy wisp sort of thing. I think purity would have also been a really good item for us to just take. But the thing is with purity, it's not always good. Like it doesn't always have benefit. It only has benefit if it's on the correct um, buff. So I don't think it's as worth taking. Um, we got a dollar. That seems like a... I, I literally can't purchase it because I don't have enough money. That's stupid. <laughs> for some reason, I thought I couldn't purchase it for some unknown reason. Then I realized, nope, you're just being an idiot. But yeah, for some reason, we're able to purchase 99 cent, which seems odd. Also, didn't jetpack used to be a speed down? Now it's a speed up. Interesting. Gives three full heart containers for the current room. Don't really need that for now. Actually, it's kind of useful. If they're filled heart containers, I can see how that could be good. Oh, that was red hearts. God damn it. Right, back we go. Sun card? I'll, I'll, I'll just use the sun card on the next floor, actually. I kind of want to see... Oh my god, I'm getting hit by some bullshit here. I was just going to say, I want to see what my shrink ray does. I, I was ex expecting nothing, and it did do nothing, so good to know. And here we get... I'm going to take that because it's going to work with our multiplier and give us a decent tears up. And that's pretty important. Hop down to the next floor. I didn't actually check where I'm meant to be going here. Okay, just the lamb. Let's pop in here and do that. Saves us clearing a room, gives us some mapping as well. The fettered heart is going to give us a ghosty boy and a soul heart, which I quite like. Nice. Okay, we've got some interesting stuff going on this run. And a luck penny. Lovely. Um, ooh, if we get another bomb, we can get into the curse room for free here. I think with the flight and um, the speed upgrade that we get from Jetpack, the shrinker is actually pretty damn good now. It allows us to quick clear some smaller rooms. So I'll try to do that when I can. I don't know why I went over to this room over here. I guess I'm just going for charges on my active. That's three full. We got another one of these. Okay, that's good. We got an arcade as well, so we might be able to use it in the arcade here. Yeah, I'm liking these new cards. They're cool. Also, one thing I just want to check after this room. I thought I had the announcer voice on always, but some cards seem to not have an announcer voice. I don't know if that's based on in-game or what, so it's... I think it's just general. Okay, there you go. It's on sometimes. I like it on always. Make sure that's actually saved the setting. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but I prefer it on always. I like hearing the announcer voice. Especially considering I've voiced a few of the cards for Ipecac. I don't know why. Maybe it's just some egotistical thing that I just like hearing my own voice. <laughs> but I do. Oh, that was close. Right. We've got enough keys to get into our item room over here. Let's do that. Oh, I got a resprite for these dudes. Look, at, look how cool they look now. They're the little boil head things, like the boil on feet. I think they look really, really good. They're very different than the vanilla look of them, but I think they're really, really nice. They're good. Pop in here. Blood explosion. This one definitely doesn't have a unique uh, wisp, so I'll just take it. And also, it's just a very good item. Blood explosion is just a lot of fun. Do you know what? Ah, oh, that didn't work. I tried using my uh, shrink ray and then walk over them, but it didn't work. Walking cane. Tears up plus damage up for every luck you have. When damaged, this trinket is removed and hides itself in the next hostile room you enter. Gulping or smelting the trinket prevents it from being lost this way. Seems pretty good for now, at least. We don't have any damage ups. I lost it straight away. Literally instantly. 0.1 of a second of having the cane and it's gone. Fun. Ah, oh, we didn't get a blood donation machine. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's worth playing this guy for Skatol. And then re-rolling it. Re-rolleth the Skatoleth. But I, it, it depends how long that's going to end up taking. Doesn't matter, He blood ex the fly blood exploded and blew everything up. <laughs> the best laid plans of Mice and Men. Here we go, our walking cane's back again now. That seems like an interesting trinket. Seems a little strong, but I like it. 
But yeah, in a room like this, just shrink everything. Bloody fucking blood ex... Uh, that, that one was a champion that exploded. I thought it was blood explosion for a minute, but it was actually just a champion. Okay, my health is not great right now. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, I feel like I, I should go and use Abyss on that bad boy. Why not? My cane's back again. I keep losing the cane the moment I get it. Where is the cane? Oh, there it is. It was just invisible for a moment for some reason. I right, wait until everything's close to me. Shrink it all. Oh, for God's sake. It just grew up at the perfect time to screw me over. Okay, so the cane seems to spawn back every other room, but like invisible for some reason like it's it's apparently somewhere around here but i don't see it i also got hit by something then i'm taking a lot of really bad damage right now aren't i sty i will take sty just because we don't have great damage right now hmm I don't really know if having two of these is useful, so I'm just going to take the one. I kind of would like that, but the fact that I won't have any soul hearts left makes me fearful for my life, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay, I don't know how to feel right now. I feel a little unsafe. I feel like I've squandered this run somewhat. Just, what? I used my space bar and I got hurt. Why? I'm so confused. What happened? I shrunk the enemy and it just... I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just f thoroughly confused. Grey hand or normal hand? Normal hand. Okay. We need to be very careful from now on, though. I'm on very low HP for depth one. The cane is once again invisible somewhere in the room. I'm not sure why it's invisible for the first few seconds of the room. Very strange. I'm sure that's not uh, intentional. Oh! <laughs> Stop getting hit! I'm playing so poorly! That was close. Um, we do get to now abyss this though. Ooh, three bomb flies. Hell yes. I don't know if they'll explode or just deal... I, I, I really don't know actually. I don't know how they'll end up working. Ooh, this, we had this last run. I'm going to take this. It's really good. And I don't have to keep worrying about losing it or not. Get back here, you. Oh my god, the blood explosion did a good job there. Okay, I'm, th I'm very grateful I got that black heart. Ooh, a golden penny. Not that we need it, but I will get up to 99. At least, really, you're going to give me two bombs back when I am desperate. A survival. You shyster. Okay, we're not gonna get up to 99, we're gonna get up to 98. Hello, Vizzes. I'm sure you have a lot of things to be doing and saying, but I don't like any of them, so please die. Okay. I really like the, 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 the blood explosions we got going on right now. The chain reactions are pretty awesome. I will take a pill. It's just amnesia. We've got so much going on on screen with all these locusts. It's great. Hmm. You do your thing, sir. Pop your head up. I've got to take that too. Got to. Some things I can't just... I can't just suck up. They're too good. Our blood explosion destroyed a skull and revealed you. A golden pill. Also restock, which I feel is pretty good. And a uh, scrying stone, which is also pretty good. Mm. 
Oh, it, yeah. So, in, in one of my last runs, I had 151 uses. But this time, no, no, no. You get one. Literally a single use. Do I want 4.5 volt? Yes. And that as well is even better. Does that actually does that even work with 4.5 volt? That is a must. That's very nice. That's also very nice, actually. Gonna beef up all of our boys. We don't quite have 13. I will come back and abyss that if I can. We got some crazy stuff going on right now. It's pretty beautiful. There's one coin. Just need one more. Yeah, BFF is a pretty good get for us here. I think it beefs up all of our flies. There it is. So now we're on 13, so I'm going to pick it up and then immediately use Abyss. Gives us another boy. I don't know if we've been to our item room this time around. We, I think we got Lusty Blood right. There is a lot going on with the uh, with the locusts we have right now. With BFF, they've become pretty potent. And I will take that as well. Let's go. I think now I'm at critical mass where I can just kind of abyss everything. The D6, hello. Wait, so now we can use Lust, which gives us three full heart containers. And we got a blood bag out of it. Wouldn't have had that otherwise, and then they disappear. That is such a cool card. That is actually a card that I um, that I helped the the developer of some wicked sort of come up with because they originally were going to do something a bit different. But I said, how about just do three heart containers for the room? Um, because it's not that useful. It's pretty niche. But if you get like a blood donation machine or a sacrifice room, it could be super useful. And they they liked the idea and implemented it. So I'm I'm happy to see it part of the game and getting some interesting use out of it myself. Right. Yeah, we've created something pretty strong here. That's a pretty good trinket to get right there, I have to say. I don't know if it's better than, than uh, the slot machine one we have right now. The slot machine we have, what one we have right now is pretty overpowered. Ooh, hello. Boom. Boom. Pop in here. This is going to be... Oh, it just turns into BBF. Nice. Okay, you're all dead. No, you're not dead. Now you are. Okay, we have Taurus for some reason. We got some Lemmageddon Wisps for some reason. I don't know where from. I'm a bit confused. I'll take it. Yeah, then we got this Soul of Eden to use in whatever we may like. This is going to be a grey hand, so get ready for the spiders. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, we got Taurus again. Yeah, I don't know where we got these Lemmageddon Wisps from. What time are we on? We can't make a boss rush, unfortunately. We're a little bit late. We got our fool card. I, do you know what? No. What's even the point? I want this. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 wait. Um, with the scrying stone. Also uses soul of Isaac, adding a random item to the reroll. Also adds a glitched item to the reroll. This seems rather interesting, doesn't it? I think we take the black heart and everything else can get the good suck. The good suck. Unfortunately, nothing amazing there. Right, one moment. Let's carry on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, I kind of want to go and use the, um, the crane machine to get, like, an item or two. And then use this Soul of Eden. I feel like that'll be, like, the best plausible usage of Soul of Eden right now. I don't know. 
Maybe. Let's let's let's, let's give it a go. See if we can get any items out of it. Let's also see if we can get some money out of this first. Just a single pill. I'm not really into pills right now, so. That was good. I don't know what caused that ridiculous explosion of money, but I'll take it. So we should be able to hopefully get some good stuff here. And I'll probably keep the D6 if we get it. We did get the D6. So we'll take the D6. And then we'll pop Soul of Eden. And, okay, so we get Ancestral Assistance, Magneto, or the Glitched Item. The Glitched Item is Uck of Nemesis. Of Genesis, even. Plus one key... Uh, may use, may affect speed, on use, uses eternal d6, and uh, then gain Edith's effigy for the room. Use the lighter, gain, gain everything jar for the room, gain veil of darkness for the room. Let's, let's just give that a go, because that seems interesting, doesn't it? It did reroll this, okay don't know what to think of this. Of course, it's... What the... What the hell? <laughs> that was very confusing. What the hell just happened? I entered some sort of nether room and just disappeared out of it straight away. But yeah, it seems like a potentially very good glitched item. We'll see, we'll see. Ow, I just stood there and took that, didn't I? My health is still pretty low for where we are in the game. Ooh, also, I didn't think about the fact we had 4.5 volt with this. Could end up being very, very good. We're meant to be going to the lamps. So let's try that out. Let's go down. So, yeah, I, I want to see how this works in the middle of a combat room. Or if it even does. It did set him on fire. Didn't seem to do all much else at all. I don't know why these the blood explosions seem to be causing enemies to drop a lot of money. But yeah, I really like the Scrying Stone. That's a suggestion from Never Named, actually, for the Ipecac mod. Um, essentially just Tarot Cloth, but for runes. Obviously, runes are already very strong. So maybe having it in the shop pool is a little too strong. I like the item as it is. I don't think the item needs a nerf, but it seems like it could be like a secret room item. Or like, I don't, I don't, I don't know where else you'd find it. Maybe a planetarium item, even. Um, just because it seems quite strong for a shop. I suppose Tarot Cloth... Wait, can Tarot Cloth appear in the shop? I think it can, can't it? Yeah. Come on, fella. Pop your head up. Come on, fella. Thank you. That's a lot of hearts in here. And that's a Devil Deal teleport. I will take the Sinner's Heart. The Sinner's Heart is very good. Come on now, this... <sighs> why did you add these enemies? Please tell me how and why. But yeah, this is like the dark... The, the, like the devil deal version of um, Sacred Heart. The Sinner's Heart. It's really good. Just because there's a chance for items and I actually got one as well. I'm going to abyss it. I think I already abyssed my shadow earlier, actually. So I got two abyssed my shadows now. Yeah, it's like the explosions. I think there's something to do with one of our, one of our wisps. I think it's the the keepers, the the wooden nickel. One of our one of our locusts for wooden nickel is causing enemies to drop a lot of money sometimes. It's a bit strange. I'll definitely say that. It's a bit strange. Yeah, you do you, Mr. Fella. You do you. Good, good. Taurus activated right on cue there. Okay. Boss time. Shouldn't be too bad at all for us. Plus, oh, I've just noticed. I'm, I'm, I've kind of fucked up a little bit here. Because 4.5 volt charges my regular active before it charges Abyss, which is not really what we want. So we're going to have to not use our normal active if we want to use Abyss, which, honestly, I would have used it on eye drops there. 
Spoon bender. Why is this machine playing so slow? There you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna just take spoon bender because it's a really good item. I want to try and get other items out of this anyways, though, and see if I can abyss them. We don't need our money for anything else right now, so why not? I'm not used to how slow these machines play. Marbles as well. There you go, we got both of them. I think both of them I'm just going to abyss once we have the charges. Which is only going to be like two or three more rooms, right? Just don't use my active at all. Okay, this should get us it easy. Still, health is a little... It's a bit to be desired. Yeah, so go back this way now. And Abyss. Beautiful. That's a lot of flies, baby. That's a lot of flies. A tear detonator came in clutch there. They're all obviously weaker flies, but having more of them just means more consistent damage dealt. Quarter is another one I very much like to uh, abyss, so let's save up a charge for that bad boy. There you go, got enough. One of you escaped, or no, two of you escaped. Abyss. Yeah, we've got a bunch of pennies. we got like an absolute army now. Just an absolute tirade. They're running a train on every enemy. It's beautiful. Look at this. I can't even see myself. There's so many locusts. It's beautiful. God damn the amount of luck upgrades I just got then. Um, I'm going to try Hush. I don't, I'm not super confident my health isn't great. But I, I just think that the amount of items we get here could be pretty awesome. We also got another crane game. Should we want to use that? We also got Tech X. Tech X is pretty good, right? <laughs> oh, also a Hero Font card. Okay, this is this is good. This is good. Holy card, even better. That dropped a chest for some reason. I think it. I think the chest was just underneath it. I think that's more to the point. And then I will take keep a sack as well. Don't really know why I took keep a sack actually. Anyways, glitch heart here. Some decent stuff here. Decent stuff. Right. I think Tech X homing with the damage we've got. Oh god, that that hit me. Should be pretty good. We should do a lot of damage here. And then obviously we've got all of our locusts helping alongside. I don't know why I keep getting hit randomly. But yeah, I'll just keep going with this to see how it goes. I'll try using my active when I can. Damn, I'm just standing here. Wait, what's... Oh, my voodoo doll's getting hit. I was getting really confused. I'm like, I, I, I've been hit like five times, but I've still got my holy mantle. What the hell's going on? Turns out my voodoo doll is just, like, tanking and triggering all my on-hit effects, of which I don't think I have any. So he's not really doing all that much right now, but good on him for trying. He's blocking shots, at least. That much can be said. I don't really know if activating my active item multiple times is actually worth anything. I will say, this run is significantly less laggy than a few of the ones I've had recently, and that's some very good stuff. I like to see that. Yeah, you can see, though, we're absolutely destroying him. Like, just methodically tech-xing him is annihilating him. He's already halfway dead. I think that, like, little sort of crease you can see in the health bar is halfway. So he's just under halfway right now. Oh, my lord. Blood explosions went crazy then. It seems like if enemies' blood explode while they're on fire, they leave a fire behind as well.
Yeah, these flies are just running a train. I'm just going to stand still for this. I, it's, it's guaranteed to hit me anyway, so just stand still. It hit me more than, I, more than I'd like to admit. Okay, this time I'm going to move because that one was annoying. Ah. Oh. See, you're just guaranteed to get hit anyways. This, this bloody beam attack is bullshit. There you go. Left with a little less than desirable HP on our end here, but honestly not too bad. I think we lost two or three soul hearts throughout the, uh, the course of that. I think we're, we're absolutely going to trash the rest of this run, though, because we've got Herming Tech X with high damage. So I'm not really all that worried. I think we should be fine. I, I want to, like, I, I think I've mentioned it on a previous episode before. I want to make, like, a, a mega document of, like, all the mods I play and go through all the balancing that I do personally for all of them. But at the same time, I don't want to spend a bunch of time on a document or, like, on doing something like that that, like, might not get listened to at all. I'm not saying that devs aren't receptive of criticism. A lot of them are. And even, like, mods like Repentance Plus do, said they are taking it on board. But, yeah, I do, I do kind of want to just go through all my mods and just see, like... What's making runs overly easy? We've got the D7. We'll definitely uh, abyss that. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. A man to abyss. After midnight. Another one. Hello. This one gave us another thing we can't take. So let's uh, see if we can't get a charge for that, shall we? Damn it! Give me an Abyss Plus Charge. Thank you. Right, go back and quickly Abyss that bad boy. Health hasn't gone, gotten any better yet, which is a shame. Hey, this guy looks pretty cool. Hey, we're absolutely running a train on it, though. <laughs> this is so crazy. Did not see those Brimstone guys. I'm very glad that they didn't shoot a little bit earlier, because otherwise they definitely would have hit me. Yeah, where the hell is the boss, then? Must be down below, right? I didn't see those brimstone dudes at all. You need to calm down, sirs. Oh, God. He did not do the attack I thought he was going to do. Thank God I managed to dodge that. Okay, good. That bomb almost got me there. I should not have placed that. I have no need to place it. What am I doing? Right, this guy's about to get really wrecked. Hello, Feats. It is time to meet with the Feats. Good, good. Easy kill on that. I think this last floor should be a piece of cake. More luck upgrades. Honestly, this, this stupid Clover item is ridiculously overpowered. Just like, ah, you defeated a boss. How about seven luck upgrades? Judas' is Fez. Okay, yeah, unfortunately nothing there we really want. Just gonna keep pushing to the left here and hoping for the best. Hoping I can kill this guy before he even shoots. I can, haha. No, ah, I don't want your love. Oh my god, the frail's got me. The double frail hit me. Still though, even with our very, very limited HP right now, I think we're still in a very good spot. I'll take you, I'll abyss you. Oh, little clot flies, beautiful. This is kind of a hard room here. Without this ultimate piercing killing power, I think that'd be quite a difficult room. Okay. Yeah, another kind of hard room. These guys are chonky. These guys are chonky. We've got we've got 13 luck though, so we're likely to get a lot of chests here. Doesn't matter though, because this floor's almost over. Really? Okay, no, he did he didn't escape. Grab the pork chop. Go to town on this boy. 
What up, lamb? We're about to get wrecked. Considering the amount of items I abyssed here, this is a crazy run. This is a run that would have been even more crazy had I just picked up all the items. But there you go. Another win. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A very fun one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.